Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Well, it's a very exciting day today in the shop and that's because we're taking this front clip from a 71 Charger and welding it on that car, which is a 71 Cuda. Now, this front clip, as I mentioned, came off the Charger that I found in California, scored the entire car for 300 bucks, the perfect donor car, because this thing came out clean. Every single surface that I'm going to be welding to my 71 Cuda are in damn near perfect condition all the brackets, all the pieces, there's no major rot. The only place that I have found that I'm gonna to have to repair is right down here um, underneath the battery tray, which is a really common spot for these cars to rust out. So, but in order to get it onto the car, originally I wanted to take it outside and blast it, epoxy the whole thing, you know, in a perfect world that would have happened today. But unfortunately the weather here in Utah is not cooperating and I think I'm supposed to get like three to five inches of snow every day for the next four or five days and i committed to you guys of getting a video out a week so we're going to improvise a little bit what we're going to end up doing is going to clean up all the surfaces and everything that i'm not going to be able to reach once i weld in that floor pan i'm going to clean all that stuff up the rest of this we'll leave it like it is because after we get it welded together and after all the other things that are going to go on this car we'll get it up on the rotisserie i'll just blast the entire thing at that point and uh, throw it in 2k and move it on to body work so to start off this video, guys, we're gonna have to do some repairs here where the old torsion support was. It was about the only place that these inner rockers really got chewed up and unfortunately it's complements of the air chisel. Again, it's way too much fun to use and it's really easy to put holes in your car. So we're gonna fix that up, clean up those surfaces, get the front clip fit checked and uh, what's gonna make this video even better is that you guys are gonna see 71 Cuda front fenders, a hood, and a bunch of other parts fit checked onto the car. And that's because my friends at AMD shipped me over the floor pan, which will be in the next video. We've got brand new front fenders, which are about the only two left in the country at this point. Hood hinges, bunch of odds and ends brackets, just in case we need them for this. And of course, my favorite, brand new hardware. Always makes me happy putting new hardware on the car. So without further ado, let's get to work. All right guys, so enough of the boring rust repair. Let's just cut straight to the chase. You're here to see a front clip go on a 71 Cuda. You guys have seen me do rust repair a million times over again. And guess what? My front clip is ready to weld on the Cuda. Now, of course, I'm gonna walk you guys through how I got to this point and every step of the way. Now, as you guys just saw, went ahead, cleaned up the insides of my inner rockers here, cut the floor pan back to where the front clip is gonna sit just inside of that and allow me enough access to get around in here and do all the welding that I need to do. So the car side is good. I also went ahead and on the inside of here, um, I wish I wouldn't have welded these holes shut. Honestly, I don't know why I did that, but um, on the inside, I could see where the dimples were, where the factory spot welds were. And I went ahead and drilled those out. And the reason being is that it's going to line up in just about the exact same place. Now the holes aren't gonna obviously line up, but you know the angles right here on my inner fenders are going to line up with the old holes and it's just really really good and easy reference marks for when i go to fit the front clip 
up into the car. So got that done, got these in weld through primer. So the car side is completely done. Now I went ahead, I started blasting this and I started cleaning it up. And to be honest with you guys, I mean, time is money. Okay. I don't have a ton of time to spend out here, honestly, on the cars. And, uh, you know, so I started doing it. I was probably an hour in and I barely had the torsion support cleaned up. So immediately jumped on Google, found an awesome guy that actually blasted the entire front clip in like less than 24 hours for me. Dropped it off, it was ready the next day. I think I spent 200 bucks or 250 bucks getting it done and it looked brand new. So as soon as I got it back here, stood it up, got it completely in 2K epoxy. Um, I still use the rattle cans actually on, the, on this uh, piece here. I think it took me three cans actually to do the entire thing with multiple coats, but uh, it turned out really, really nice. I do have, a couple spots still down here that we'll address at a later point and then also one right there on that side but we'll get to that a little bit later on when we're finishing up the metal work not too big of a deal but uh from there guys went ahead i pre-drilled all these out i used a 3 8 drill bit so they're going to be nice fat beefy uh, plug welds here when i go to weld them in but uh pretty much mimicked what the factory did with a little bit bigger holes and uh, got everything lined up. The torsion support right here is done. Now it's really important guys, if you're gonna use a 3 8 drill bit on that, you're gonna have a lot of junk on the inside. So make sure you take a grinder, grind that all, or you know your front clip or whatever piece of metal that you're trying to weld to the other piece is gonna stick up and off of there. So take your uh, flat disc, run it along there real quick, clean it up, and it's good to go. So this side's pretty much the exact same thing. You know, and to be honest with you, I don't know if I could have lucked out more with getting this front clip, especially getting it back from blast and seeing just how damn pristine the whole thing was. It still blows me away because it looks completely brand new. <laughs> it looks completely brand new. And uh, it's gonna fit perfectly up here on the firewall of our 71 CUDA. So I'm excited. I know this boy is pretty excited. He's staying up late tonight helping me out. So. Let's go ahead and let's get this thing fit up into the car. So she's pinned in and it's actually holding up just fine here. Now I wanted to walk you guys through real quick some of the key measurements that I'm using for this and also just to make sure that everything is sitting in here square. So I'm gonna try my best to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but inner fender to inner fender I found out it's about 48 and a half inches here. Okay, so you guys can see bang on the money there. I ended up measuring from this bottom nut right here to the outside of uh, the edge of the car right there you can see that seven and three quarters now let's go to the other side check the same measurement here seven and three quarters there and then up here just to make sure that the car is sitting back i mean really you have enough reassurance here when the car is slammed against the firewall okay um so you really can't go back any further but just to make sure that you're uh Torsion support here matches up with the other side. I measured from the inside of that pillar post to the front side of that. Looks like 13 and a half inches there. And we'll go ahead and verify the other side. You can see all the, the sandblast material and the media that's left on the inside of that. That obviously there's a lot of hammering, a lot of shaking, a couple cuss words, <laughs> and uh, it all came together just fine. So let's get to the other side of this guy right here. So you can see that 13 and a half inches to the front ear there. Now, the only difference, and 
there's a guy almost in the first, or actually I think it was the second video and I actually cut the uh, 71 charger in half. The one thing that he said was that the upper mounts for the inner fender to the firewall, or excuse me, the inner fender to the cowl was different and he was exactly right. Now everything else on this, it's the same part numbers across everything. Um, they switch over just fine, but you will need this piece right here. And it's this inner fender to cowl bracket. AMD sells this and you guys can see it lays flat on there. And uh, that's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like that. Now I could probably hammer that down. Might be able to do that, but what I'm probably gonna end up doing guys is just cutting it right here cutting this piece of the ear off and just welding it on there. So, um, I mean, there's so many welds holding the firewall to, to the front clip and the cowl and everything else that it's really not gonna make much of any of a difference. So yeah, we'll go ahead, we'll chop these off, weld those in. So, but before we do that, and what I'm very much so encouraging you guys to do at this stage is we have all the sheet metal for the front half of this car it's time to test fit everything. Make sure our fenders line up, make sure the hood lines up good. This is the time to make sure that all of your parts are pretty close to fitting. You're gonna be panel matching and gapping and doing different things, but you wanna make sure that you have a nice solid base here to build upon. And uh, not to mention, I just can't wait to see these guild fenders on the 71. So let's get all these panels out of the packages and let's get them test fit onto the car. All right guys, well to say that I'm happy with the fitment of the hood and the fenders would be an understatement. It fits really, really nice. And we are definitely within the, uh, you know, the tolerances of being able to do some fine tuning and adjustments and really dialing in the gaps when we get closer to body work. But you can see down here at the bottom, I mean, it's absolute money gaps all the way up to the top, right off the bat. Down here on the bottom side on this corner, a little bit bigger gap. Again, we can pull in this fender, we can pull out this fender, we can lift it up. We can do all sorts of different things. And also with the header panel that stretches across here in the front, it's actually gonna pull the front of the fenders together even tighter for us. So I can go ahead and dial these in really nice. The way that the fenders lined up right off the bat is that they're actually fully adjusted out. So that works really, really nice that really we just have a lot of room to be able to squeeze this together and get nice fitment all the way around the hood. So. Now that that's over with, and now that I can actually take a breath <laughs> and enjoy this moment, I now get to take apart everything again and weld on the front clip. And then we're gonna put it all back together again, get the header panel on and fine tune everything and get it exactly where I want it.
right guys, well unfortunately that's gonna wrap it up. I just did about two to three hours of video editing and realized that about the last 10 files that I had were corrupted. So kind of here's what you get and let's do a quick walk around. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice, yes, it is just about all the way assembled here on the front side. The fenders are on, the hood's on, the header panel's on. And after all that was done, I could not just keep staring at the grill that's been sitting up there on the front of my mezzanine here for the last few months. Um, got that in as well, and it's just fit up in there with zip ties and whatnot, but my goodness. This gets me excited. <laughs> so I don't know if you can argue much that the 71 Cuda is one of the best looking muscle cars of all time. The Charger's over there not looking the best, probably getting a little bit jealous by me saying that, but this thing looks absolutely killer. So the front clip came together really nice. The panel fitment in general is to a point that I would drive this car every day the way that it sits. And we're still gonna tweak it a little bit more and do a little bit more tuning on this, but uh, overall it turned out really, really nice. Now, if you guys got rusted out frame rails, you're looking to do the same thing. Again, I mean, it cost me about $300 for that entire 71 charger. And you know, I don't know if I could have went a better route with this. The fitment of everything's really good. Um, didn't have to, you know, kind of second guess or do anything, uh, you know, questionable really with this and it all tied out really, really nice. So what comes next? Well, I'm going to take a few days off, unfortunately. Uh, me and a couple friends and the kids are driving to Vegas for mats this weekend. Can't wait to see a bunch of you guys there. But, you know, what I am going to do when I get back is tackle this floor pan. The way that everything else has gone and how smooth it's all gone, I hope the rest of it goes the same way. But we've got to cut this floor back out. Um, it really starts kind of about here, so we'll continue to cut this back. We'll get that floor pan drilled out, welded into place, and we'll just keep on working our way back and finish the rest of the car. So if you haven't done so yet, guys, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for all the comments, all the support along the way. And uh, I hope you guys are getting as excited about this build as I am, because I'm pretty stoked. I'll see you guys again real soon. Yeah.